for me, it was something God put on my heart to do. And during a difficult time of my actual, you know, trials in my, you know, previous marriage that I had, um, the year before my marriage ended, I actually was inspired to write this book because I had this inclination in my spirit that things just weren't going to work out. So essentially the storm of deliverance, what, what came to me was how, you know, human characteristics and behavior, how they seem to just parallel with the weather patterns, you know, like the seasons, and how they also pattern with the five stages of dying. And it was interesting to me because, you know, talking about it can be very complex, but at the state of where I was in my life, you know, at that time, going through the transition of the trials of the marriage, you know, doing the music, it was just something that God put on my heart to kind of get me to a focus to understand that what's going on all around in the world today, you know, these last days, you know, the chaotic times, all the craziness that we see go on, you know, these are all deemed storms. So for me, when I came up with the title, The Storm of Deliverance, it actually was a title of one of my Christian rap albums, you know, called 23rd Psalms, The Storm of Deliverance. And that is really where the book derived from. So with me being a Christian hip hop artist and me coming with this book, it was totally left field for a lot of people. But for people who personally know me, um, the book reflects a lot about me and my actual walk in Jesus Christ. So it's more of a non-fictional book slash inspirational. And this is my first debut official book that I wrote. And what I did was, Instead of overthinking it, I said, I'm going to write it. I'm going to actually just do it because I had a lot of people, you know, guys in the industry, you know, people that I worked with, they had dreams of writing books, say they were going to write books and trials came up, storms rather, came up and they got sick. They were unable to write. They actually either died and they had this guilt and they had this um, void inside themselves about not completing something. So again, that was a reflection of their storm. So hence the, the storm of deliverance is the book that I just actually was really inspired to write because the timing of when I wrote it and knowing that the urgency for me to finish it was crucial. And again, you know, this is the raw, unedited book that I actually did. So you may see some errors in it, you know, you may see some misspellings in it. And for me, I just wanted to get it out there because it was very vital for me at that time. You know, I was always told, hey, you can re-edit it, get somebody to look at it. But the main thing was that I wanted the book in my own words, the way I wrote it. I wanted the concept of understanding that the storm of deliverance from the perspective that I have it is basically about just the connection of human behavior and how it connects with the weather patterns, meaning the seasons of the weather, and how it also connects with the five stages of dying, all being parallel simultaneously, all at the same time. And as I was writing it, I actually just went through and wrote it like chapter for chapter. I pre wrote the chapter titles how I wanted it and it was amazing how I just flowed through the entire writing of the book and the book flowed the way I wanted it to um, it said what I wanted to say and the unique thing was when I read it back after I had completed it I had actually looked at the book as if I wasn't the author I looked at the book as like wow this is something I can identify with, but I didn't realize that I had written the book because it was that intriguing to me. So hopefully that is what, you know, readers will grasp from the book. And I just ask that you look at the book from a perspective of what you can take from it, you know, obviously with any book. So that's why I called it a non-fictional book, but it's a very personal book to me because this is my very first debut book. and. It's not about being an elite writer. It's about being an 
honest and very transparent author and writer because I'm the same way when I write my music. And I think that's what has actually been missing in a lot of today's writing. The transparency of who the author is seems to not really um, shine as opposed to their creativity of taking you somewhere with a story. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like Pod Piper of, you know, authors, you know, they can take you to a place with fantasy, with fictional. I wanted to do something non-fictional because we live in a non-fictional world where reality is really setting in. Storms are very real. Trials are very real. You know, and, and I had to take it there using my own life. So um, I believe that the book is very powerful. And as you begin to read the book, you'll kind of understand where it's going. And I have a tendency to kind of go left and right field and, you know, not really stay on topic a lot because that's the way I actually wrote the book because it represents my character. But the irony is that the book itself is a representation of storms, hence storms of deliverance. So life has no actual straight and narrow. Life has those same, you know, left field turns that we never expect to come, just like the weather does. So ironically, the very character of how I write, which some people may consider complex, which some people may really consider very unique, um, it's very parallel to the actual concept of the book itself, meaning that, like I said, human characteristics and behavior, they are parallel with the weather patterns, which are parallel with the five stages of dying. Very interesting read. I'm, you know, I thank God that I completed the book. I thank God that they have this website, you know, Wattpad. Um, shout out to my homegirl, um, Courtney Wheeler, aka C Love 410. You know what I mean? Um, I just basically, um, came across the site based on her. She's a phenomenal author as well. Phenomenal. So um, you guys check out the actual um, book. I just actually copy and pasted the entire book. Um, it's on lulu.com if you want to support to actually buy the hard copy. But I felt as though I should go ahead and share the story now because this is a perfect platform. And, you know, to God be the glory for who's blessed by it. And hopefully this will take me somewhere else. Um, to do a couple of more books, which I'm already in the works of. Um, thank you all just for, you know, taking the opportunity to check me out. You could have been reading or doing anything with anyone you wanted to, but you took the opportunity to be here with me. So I wanted to make sure I made this video because I have so much going on, as you can see in the studio, but um, I wanted to take a time and reflect on this book because I haven't promoted it like I actually should have, you know. And shout out to my brother Derek Barnes. He has a book, you know, The Science of Manhood, doing wonderful. Um, but yeah, you guys check out the book. Let me know what you think, good or bad. Like I said, it's really my story. So there's really no critiquing a testimony. And that's pretty much what this entire book is about my life and just the perspective that God gave me to share with you all. So thank you, peace, and enjoy the read.